Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about one of my newest flashlights I'm extremely excited about. So I also like a good flashlight, or in my case, lights. Uh, got several of them, and I've always kind of used uh, kind of the, kind of these types for like, you know, EDC and carry. This one's a little on the bigger side, so this would be something I'd carry like inside my jacket or something or in a bag because it's just pretty big. Uh, this is usually the most common one that I would carry in my pocket. So it's a very small. Um, you know, it's, if we look at some size dimensions here, hang on a second, let me get a couple of things here for scale. Um, not sure if I had this ready, but if we're looking at scale, you know, here is a bug out, here is a Swiss army knife, and here's one, like a smaller classic Swiss army knife. So you can kind of see it's pretty darn small. I mean, if you look at like a Swiss army knife, you can kind of see that it's smaller than that smaller than a bug out. So this has been kind of my go-to. I actually have two of these um, uh, knife or flashlights, I'm sorry. It gets bright enough. It's not super bright, but again, this is this is just for kind of basic use. You know, you drop something on the floor, your keys, whatever, it's worth fine. Um, I've seen these types of flashlights around, but I've never actually uh, really caught my eye. Uh, but these are my new favorite EDC lights, these kind of flatter ones. These just fit in the pocket so darn well that it's not even like, even though these weren't noticeable, these are even these are even less noticeable. Um, so these are just kind of my new go-to for carrying it. They also make great keychains as well, but I want to talk about this new one I got here. This is the Rovi Vaughn, if I'm saying that right, E8. So let's throw it up here. So I just got this one in here last week during when they had their sale, and it's been um, it's been awesome. I've actually liked this way more than I thought I would. Um, a lot of use here. First of all, you've got a couple multifunctions here. So you've got your traditional, you know, flashlight, and this thing does get really bright. You got several different like brightness levels, um, which is cool. But the other thing I like about it is kind of the secondary mode. So you, it actually comes with three LEDs right here and these do a couple of things one here actually let me see if I can turn my little highlight off um, so you get the red light which is pretty cool um, this is great if you're needing to like um, turn this off for a second this is this red is great like if you ever have a car breakdown or something inside the road you can put this on put it like, uh, put it on your like your trunk or in your rear window just to kind of alert oncoming traffic um, so that's super cool too and then you can also change this to a slower one or just constant on. So at nighttime, map reading, anything that you don't want to mess with your night vision, you've got that right as well. So I think that's super cool as well. Um, let me get this out of the way. And then let me put the other one on. And it's all done by clicking here, you have a UV light. So this is great for looking at money or looking for certain stains like we have here. So if you ever get in a hotel room and you want to check to see, you know, the person before you had, you know, left you some stains, there you go. So perfect, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool option here as well. And then the last one is it's a little hard to switch the, between these three. Hang on a second. All right, hang on a second. I'm having some difficulties here. All right, we're back. Sorry, I couldn't get the button configuration right, but the last mode we have is just like a lantern mode. So this is great for just, again, if you need a quick light here, reading a book, you know, fixing something, you can put this down. You have kind of like a more of like a lantern type of setup here. And you got two brightness, like a low brightness and kind of a higher brightness um, to use as well. And that's different from like your flashlight because a flashlight is more kind of directed. You know, it's a little more focused, but you can kind of see several different modes here as well. So 
very practical, uh, useful kind of tool, if you ask me. Um, now, the other cool thing about this I like as well is that it's got two power sources. So you have a built-in lithium, um, it's a LiPo battery, so it's not phosphor. I'm not sure actually what kind that is, but you have a built-in LiPo battery, which is right here, which you charge with uh, USB-C uh, right there. Kind of stuck, but then you also have the ability to put a AAA battery in there. So, and then you can kind of, you kind of have two sources so that way, if you're ever in a pinch, you can just put a battery in and you don't have to worry about recharging it to use it right away. Or vice versa, you can actually set the battery source, which one you want to use first. If you want to use the built-in or do you want to first draw off of your uh, AAA. Now, the only thing that I wish they would have done here, to be honest, is allow you to charge this battery. So, for example, like, if you put a rechargeable battery in there, and you throw this on a charger, it would have been cool if it could actually top off or charge up both of them versus just only this one. So the charger only really charges the built-in battery. The removable battery, you just have to you know, replace it when it's when it's burnt out. Uh, but you actually can right here, I don't know if you can see it here, let me get some focus or not. Is it going to focus? It's probably not going to focus here for me, but right here you can kind of see AAA and then LiPo. So you can kind of see which battery is being used. So you can see right now that we're on the LiPo battery, but if I click four times, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right. That's only, that's only a trick to this watch is you got to learn all the different button combinations. It's almost like playing, you know, old school Nintendo game where you got to memorize all the different button combinations. I got to go back in here and read again which one was which, but I thought that if you click this four times, it'll switch. I thought it would switch battery source. I did it one time. Let me try it again. One, two, uh, hang on. One, two, three, four. But yeah, you, you kind of get the idea. It's possible. I, I honestly just need to go back and read the instructions again to see which what the button combination is again. But as far as like regular use, um, it's pretty simple to switch between the two. Bottom button controls the bottom lights. Top one controls the other one. You know, two button operate. Uh, press it one or press and hold once for the headlight to turn on. Headlight for the main light to turn on, and then you can switch it switch the brightness between the two. I think I actually might have locked it now. There we go. Okay. So four buttons. Now you can see we're using AAA. So double click to turn it on and then a single click to rotate the brightness, hold to turn off. Same thing with that one. So you kind of get the hang of it once you kind of figure out the button combinations. But um, put this back on here so this just kind of reviews some of the other stats we got here so it comes with a 330 milliamp battery got the truck it you've got the triple a replaceable battery you, this does come in a couple different color temperatures so i i have the 6500 one but i believe it also comes with a i think it was like 4000 calvin scale so there's a couple of variety a couple of variations of uh, what color temperature you, you prefer. Um, it's got the pocket clip, which does work pretty well. Um, it is removable, so if you don't want to use it, you can take it off. Uh, this does, I kind of wish these buttons were a little bit more recessed because this is pretty easy to turn on in your pocket. So I do wish the button was a little bit more recessed or maybe they had some something to kind of maybe, some kind of like a little, something to like slide over it to, guard the buttons or something. I'm not sure, but would have been uh, a little better if they did that. Um, they also include a little keychain uh, as well if you want to wear it with your keys. Um, but that is pretty much it for this one. Um, otherwise, it, it's just a awesome light. Like this is going to be, again, this is my go-to now. I, I'm going to carry anytime I need a flashlight. It just has too many purposes uh, that 
the goes beyond flashlight. Okay, I really like the red strobe. Um, it's just a good way to kind of, you know, use it again in traffic. If you ever break down, if you ever ride a bike, if you want to forget if your bike light dies, you can use it. It's just a, a great way to use it um, than, than just a single kind of light. So this, these extra things just make it better as well. The UV light's cool for finding stains or if you're someone that buys and sells a lot of stuff online, like a, a Craigslist, for example, and someone's giving you, you know, a couple hundred dollar bills, you want to verify that they're not, you know, counterfeit. Having this light on hand is just another, you know, great way to to do it. Um, this one is just like a regular Phoenix one. This is just a simple, you know, just a regular light. But I like it because, again, the form factor is nice and small, which is kind of cool. But this is my go-to, the Roe V Vaughn E8. So if you're in need of a good light, this is this is the one to get. I'm trying to think of anything else to show you here. I think that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Otherwise, that's it for this one. Otherwise, otherwise uh, give this watch uh, two thumbs up. So highly recommend it.